Hello YouTube, I have a new hat, my mother drinks chia seeds, and I'm going to talk about people in lines. First story of business. I got this from Kohl's, isn't it really cute? It's got a little bow on the side. I've wanted a straw fedora for the longest time, but now I'm all lame because I'm getting one and they're not in style anymore, so... Oh well, I'll just be cool like that. Anyways, second order of business. My mother started drinking chia seeds. Yes, the kind that goes ch 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 chia Yeah, I'm kind of concerned. They're one of those dieting things that if you drink them or eat them, they'll help you lose weight, I guess. They're kind of creepy, though, because they turn into, like, gelatin after they're left in water for long enough, and then they crunch. They're really gross. You guys remember chia pets, right? You know, you'd put the seeds on them and water them, and then, like, the next day they would have an afro? That's the kind, you know? So, uh, I, this isn't actually my normal hair. These are chia seed induced hair things. I had a bunch of people in front of me in line today, and it was okay, you know, I'm not the kind of person that's going to get pissed when people in, are in front of me, that's how the world works. People are in front of you, deal with it. But it does bother me <laughs> when they leave their cart, go run away, do something else, and come back, and, and just, no, 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 okay? First rule of lines, you don't, you don't step out and then step back in. Second rule of lines, no cutting. Third rule of lines, if you're in front of me, follow the rules. So we walked up into this line, there was this cart in front of us, so we were like, oh, okay. We walked up into it, and this one woman came in front of us, and she was like, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna get there. And we were just like, okay. <laughs> And then there was another chick from the same, like, group of people that came in and ran up and put a cup down on the, on the conveyor belt, and it was just like, guys, come on, this isn't how you shop. You get your stuff, you put it on the conveyor belt, and you stay there and pay for it. Which brings me to my next thing. You get your money ready when you're in line. First, Check and make sure that you have the money to actually pay for the items that you have obtained. Second, if you have the amount of money that you need, take it out of your pocket or out of your purse and hold it in your hand. You don't wait till they're like, okay, that's gonna be $19.95 for you to take it out of your purse, rummage around first, rummage around in your purse, Take out the whale that you have in it, and the car keys, and the change, and the baby, and then get your wallet out. No. You get in line, put the stuff on the conveyor belt, take your wallet out of your purse, take either a card if you're paying with that, take money if you're paying with that, and then wait for them to tell you the price. Getting out of breath. <gasps> Ranting is harder than it looks, guys, seriously. Okay. Now, guys have it a little easier than girls. All they have to do is reach into their pocket, unless they're carrying a man purse, no judging here. You guys go ahead and do that if you want to. But take it out of your pocket or man purse and, you know, hold it in your hand. Same, same kind of principle. You just take it out before they tell you the price. That way the line goes faster and you don't have to worry about people awkwardly staring at you like, seriously, you didn't take the money out beforehand? Now that my rant is over, <laughs> I would like to talk about the unsung heroes of people in lines. The first kind of people that I really, really love in line is when you have a pack of gum and you're just like, oh my god, I need to get my gum, because sometimes you just need gum, okay? I don't know if you guys have this. Sometimes I just want my gum. So if you run in and you get one pack of gum and you get in line and there's a person with two full carts in front of you and you're just like, oh god, you hate getting behind those people because you just know that you're going to be in line for an hour because they're going, there's going to be confusion and they'll have to get another cart because even though you can fit all the items in the cart originally, once they get put in, you know, the really really thin bags that somehow makes the mass multiply times five billion and you have to get like another two carts. So you have your gum out there and you have the money that you want. You're just like, God, kill me now. And uh, the person in front of you is like, oh, you've only got that peck of gum. And you're like, 
yeah? And you know from that, you know just from that statement, you're like, oh god, are they going to let me go in front of them? I've got all this. Do you want to, do you want to go in front? <gasps> and your entire day just, just gets better. So much better. And you're just like, really? You're, you're, you're going to let me go in front of you? Really? Oh, oh my gosh, really? And so you take your pack of gum and you're just like walking up there like it's your beacon of awesomeness. And you're just like, yes, this glorious person. They let me go in front of them. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. You're the last gentleman on the face of the planet. Thank you. And you put it down on the conveyor belt and you're just like, I have no shame. Thank you. Another unsung type of person that I would like to talk about is the, uh, the person that checks you out. You know how most of them are just like, yes. Is that all? That'll be two ninety nine. Have a great day. But sometimes when you get the really nice one, that's like, how are you doing? Oh, that's great to hear. Can't, you know, these things, they, I swear, they give up me so much trouble, you know, they just hate me. There we go. All right. I'm going to put this in the bag for you. It's going to be $2.99. All right. Thank you. Okay. Here's your card back. All right. Here's the bag. You have a great day. All right. Take it easy. When you run into one of those people, at first you're just like, why are they smiling? What's going on? This isn't normal. This one's supposed to grimace at me and make rude comments. What's going on? And then you go into like a stage of bliss. You're just like, is this person actually be nice? Oh my god, what's wrong with them? They're really being nice to me? Wow! Is this what it feels like for customer service to be bestowed upon me? What did I do today? Did I save a kitten? And, and you're just like, you have a great day too! And you just walk out and you're just like, I didn't, I was not nice enough to that person. They were fantastic. I need to go give that person a hug. Wow. Wow. If you're one of those people, you're awesome. You really are. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Keep being awesome. You're cool. Okay, guys. I think that's all I wanted to say. Sorry about being really ranty and angry for the first bit of this. But people need to know how to be in a line. It's just come like come on guys. Get in a line and do it right. You, know, you, you do it and you put your stuff and then they and they're like, have a nice day, and you're like, yay! Alright. Thank you for watching this. Um Yeah. Bye. Woo!